know a lot of these, you should do great, you should do fine on the test. We'll just start right now. While overseeing transfer operations, the hazmat tech should determine appropriate PPE, maintain safety of the contractors, and release the isolation perimeter, monitor for flammable flammable and toxic atmosphere, decontaminate patients, participate in rehab. Which one? A. That's the first one. Who's that B? Two. Monitor. Yeah. We're going to monitor. A. If we got to do it, that's something that we would do. Prior to the approval of the init, uh, initiation of any transfer operation, which of the following should be verified? Site stabilization, air monitoring, sampling, Con uh, conducted, disposable concerns are evaluated, all of the above. All of the above. All of the above. <clears throat> um, what should be done with an overpack drone once the leaking container has been secured inside? Sealed. Identify identification number or product name labeled on the outside of the container. Uh oh. Why? <laughs> uh, a chemical agent is said to be blank or s slow volatizing if it remains as a liquid for longer than 24 hours. A, volatile, unstable, caustic, or persistent? Persistent. Persistent. If it's over 24 hours, it's considered persistent, right? Um, napalm, things like that, stays in there a lot longer. A highway, a highway cargo tank, and that's a 199 if you need to write it down, but a highway cargo tank is carrying ammonium nitrate fertilizer, plastic pellet, and dry caustic soda is a dry bulk. 312, 307, tube trailer, or dry bulk cargo tank. Dry, dry bulk cargo dry tank. Dry bulk. Monitoring for flammable atmospheres can be best accomplished using a oxygen meter, photometric tube, flame ionization detector, or combustible gas indicator. Combustible, combustible gas, gas indicator. indicator. Page 212. Combustible gas indicator. The advantage of using a A, I mean a level A with supplied air respirator type 3 chemical vapor suit. A, greater comfort and mobility because of the close fitting cut. A turnout coat or limited use garment can be worn over the suit for additional protection. You'll die. <laughs> Air cylinders can be removed or changed without opening the suit. Did y'all hear what I said to the question? Yes. It's supplied air. We don't have time. That it permits extended operations. Extended operations. <laughs> okay. Read the question. <laughs> Don't get, I mean, that's one of them that if you read it, you know, but read the answer. The lower the boiling point, the higher the blank of a chemical. Irritation, specific gravity, polymerization, or volatility? Volatility. Volatility. It's more volatile. When sampling air, blank is the most common reading used to determine the exposure guidelines and values. PPH, PPM, PPG, PPT. Start for me. PPM. The ability of a material to undergo a chemical reaction with the release of energy is known as A, chemical release event, B, reactivity and instability. C, auto ignition capability. D, sensitivity and stability. 
Thank you. Thank you. Another thing, I know this. Reactivity and instability. When it releases injury, page 198, you don't know. All right. The REM, print says R E M. This is on page 45. I don't know if we really even talked about that much. Is the unit that measures what on radiation? Radioactive contamination? The number of nuclear decays that have occurred during a specific time, radiation exposure or dose, rapid energy movement. It's the exposure or dose. Rim. You remember, I don't know if he talked about it, micro, milli, and rim. They, they go over that, y'all, on the right on this. It reads micro. Milli, micro rim, milli rim, and then rim. All right? Micro, we're in. Milli, we're in. Rim is a, starting with 1 to 25 is, back, is a dose. We start to get major doses of radiation when we get into the rim part. Okay? So that's the dose that we would receive. Milli, it takes 1,000 micros to make 1 milli. Thousand millions to make one ring. I mean, I know. I, don't let that. Don't. I don't want to screw you up. Just know R E M is the dose. We measure the dose of what we receive. All right. That's one of the main things. All right. The elapsed time between initial contact of a chemical with the outside surface of a chemical protective equipment and detection at the inside surface of the material. It's called what? Degradation, permeation, penetration, or breakthrough time? Degradation. Breakthrough time. The time it gets on you, breakthrough. and the time it makes it inside, it's called breakthrough time. <clears throat> oh, during the hazardous material WMD incident involving flammable liquid fires of bulk of a bulk container, the most important requirement for extinguishment or control would be a large group of firefighters. Specialist in hazardous material. Mm -hmm. Special hazardous material suits. No. A continuous water supply. Continuous water supply. Fire. After a critique, you must generate a critique report. You will write a report after critique that should be formatted and contain all the follow all of the following except be short to the point. Like I said, we're not going into detail, we're just making it a little small report. Simply describe what happened, a list of improvements and lessons learned, your pros and cons, or and, and then D mention who was at fault. Mention who was at fault. That's not, we're not, that's except. Um, a debriefing should include all the following except hazmat response team, information officer, that's your research guy, agency representative, employees not involved with this. Come on, you missed that one. Walk on out. Some of y'all probably like shit. Let's see. Reduced level. Now this is, these are fairly new questions. Uh, reduced levels noted on toxicity sensors is deployed monitoring equipment downrange can indicate what? Reducing levels on your monitors or indicating what to me with the monitors in my hand. Effect, effective decon, failed monitoring equipment, failed containment, or effective leak and spill control activity. If I have stopped it, my monitor should start dropping. Y'all got me? That's what it is. That's what they're trying to ask you. 
So I go into a scene and I'm, I'm piped at 100 parts per million. And we go in and we put the cap, the A, B, or C kit, what I'm going to do in just a minute. So I put that on it, my parts per million should start dropping. And that's what it's indicating. Effective leak and spill control. Y'all confused yet? And this is another one of the, I think of the following which monitoring is going to be used to determine the presence of flammable atmosphere. Y'all got that a minute ago from other gas indicators. A chemical product that has the ability to neutralize a base. Bases are caustic acids. Any kind of weak acid, acid. acid. Alright, this one in fancy definition. Just like the other day when we talked about a drum, if y'all remember, the temperature at which the vapor pressure of a liquid equals the atmospheric pressure is known as what? It is boiling point. That is the boiling point definition. It's just a fancy definition. A person who provides specific expertise in product and or container is the incident commander, a hazard material technician, chemtrack, or technical information specialist. Technical information specialist. Number two, you call. Remember, I always said, call the people who made it, call the people who made the container, see what it is. A, prim a critical step in collecting samples. At a hazmat scene involving criminal activity would be recycling the sample containers. No. No. Remember, that you have to have, that container's got to be certified clean. Reuse of gloves and equipment. No. no. Cross contamination or the chain of custody. Chain of custody. Chain of custody. <clears throat> All right. Regarding safe storage. Of organic peroxide, MSST is an acronym for blank storage temperature. Material safety. It's on chapter seven. I told you about it on chapter seven. Material safety. Is it minimum site, maximum site, minimum safe, or maximum safe? Maximum safety. And that's all they really ask about is the acronym, okay? There's no other acronym, MSST. The easier of a material to give up its oxygen molecules or receive electrons being transferred from a substance is known as, there's a key to that question. And what is it? One word in there that stands out. Oxygen. So the answer. Polymerization, chemical reactivity, air reactivity, oxidation ability. Oxidation ability. Oxidation ability. You got me? It gives up its oxygen molecule to make it burn harder crack. The most serious type of damage that occurs to a pressurized tank container is blank. Will burn, I don't know. Will burn, scoring, cracking, or pitting? Y'all have any idea? Cracking. Uh, pitting goes pitting, but we can't have Cracking. Cracking is it. Cracking is it on a pressurized container. Because if it's got a little crack in the well, it's still got that three, 400 PSI on this side, usually it'll just rip and it's done. So cracking on a pressurized container. A mixture in which all ingredients are completely dissolved is known as a solution. Solution. Right, solution. You're on a scene that is an involving a tank truck wrecked into a creek. The material leaves from the tank and set settling in the bottom of the creek. Which, which of the following specific gravity is most likely to represent the leaking material? 0 0.6, 0 1.0, 0 1.8, 0 0.003. 1.8. 1.8. Every one. 
in which an acid and base are mixed with a result resulting pH of 5 to 9 when tested is called neutralization. Neutralization. Uh, in order to assess the resources required for decontamination of a patient and responder, the first consideration a decontamination team should determine is who disposes of the contaminated equipment, how much and what type of decon will be done in the field, where is the nearest water supply, how much and what type. That's the stage. How many stages we need to set up to get that person dirty, clean. Could be one, could be five. You don't ever know. Blame is the presence of destroying all microorganisms in or on an object. Sterilization. Huh? Sterilization. Zip. Sterilization. Uh, which of the following is not an operational consideration when using supply air respirators? Nosh, certification limits the maximum hose length from the source to 300 feet. Is that right? Yes. Use of airlines in the oxygen deficient atmosphere requires a secondary emergency air supply. Is that right? I always wear an escape valve. The proper air filtering cartridge for the accepted contaminated contamination must be selected. That's it. That's not the one. Because we're doing supplied air, so we're not doing filter, not doing APR. The percentage of an acid or base dissolved in water is known as mixture, compound, miscible, or concentration. Miscible. Concentration. Concentration. Right. concentration. Physical stress, physical stresses that can affect users on specialized protective clothing include the following except, there's a lot of except, heat cramp can happen, wind chill can happen, loud noises that interferes with communication can happen, emotion, emotions and stress, that ain't, you know, they, that's going to be except. Glass devices filled with re reagent designed to measure specific concentrations of a product by visiting a measurable stain best described photo ionization detector, combustible gas indicator, uh, gas photo gas photo ionization or color metric tube. Color metric tube. Page 213, show me. Which of the following equipment is not normally part of the sampling collection kit? I like this. Non sparking sampling hose. That will be. Nylon swab. That will be. Bone wrench. Bone hole wrench. That is a name. Rubber wrench. Paper cup. Paper cup. Not doing paper cup. Paper cup is not taking a sample from the paper cup. It's going to be glass or plastic. One of the two. <sighs> Which of the following sampling devices employs electrochemical cells 
to detect atmospheric hazards. This is on page 214. I don't know how much you went over mine. But this is a, the answer. And the key word, electrochemical cells, it is a toxic gas sensor. That's on page 214. Toxic gas, and that is a specific monitor for that gas. Y'all got it? It's not picking up multiple, it's for that. We know what we're going into, now we're reading what that is. Because it's designed to be a specific chemical. Blank uh, chemicals like carbon chain. And are typically not derived from vegetable or animal sources. Yeah. Plasma, inorganic, organic, or hypocarbon. Inorganic. Inorganic. No, them, because I promise you they always question. Every test I've ever seen has that question. So that's something about organic or inorganic. Lacks carbon chain. Just pick key words. I know there's a ton of definitions. Just pick key words where you can separate all those things. And you know, lax carbon chain, so on and so on. Um, when dealing with an unknown gas incident, the hazard material technician must be alert for blank and blank hazards. Oxygen deficiency, miscibility, specific gravity, viscosity, water solubility, boiling point, or flammability and toxicity. Flammability and toxicity. Flammability and toxicity. Two eight seven. Whew. All right. Don't let this one confuse y'all. A temperature at which a solid chemical changes to a liquid phase is known as the chemical blank point. The solid to liquid. Melting. Melting. I ain't finished yet. The temperature at which liquid chemicals changes. To a solid phase is known as the chemical blank point. Liquid to a solid. Freezing. That's it. Don't think or don't overthink it. I hope it's freezing. Hmm. Same question. When facing a fire involving a cargo involving the cargo of a truck transporting explosive, the hazardous material WMD technician should increase water application. No. <laughs> Try to separate the unburning cargo. Attempt to move involved vehicle to a safer location. Immediately evacuate to a safe distance. Right. Immediately evacuate. Yep. Pretty easy. The process in which a leaking compressed gas cylinder or chlorine is placed inside another cylinder device to control a leak is known as overpacking. 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 When assessing an incident, your top concern is considered to be myself. Safety. Simple. <laughs> Proper termination activities include debriefing, post incident analysis, and critique. 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 That's it. This is, this is in three. When dealing with radiological incident involving a leader spill, what exposure guidelines should the technician use to minimize radioactivity contamination? Time, distance, and shielding. There you go. Time, distance, and shielding. That's right. That's the exposure guidelines. Radioactive exposure. The result of a chemical distance. reaction in which heat is released is known as thermal, cryogenic, endothermic, exothermic. Exothermic. The LFL stands for 
Exothermic. Ex lower flammability. Ex exothermic. Just like explosive limit. Remember I said that? L E L, L F L, same. A liquid's ability to dissolve in water best defines instability, water reactivity, surface tension, or miscibility. Miscibility. Just let y'all know, miscibility and solubility is very close. Hard to separate them two. You will not see both of them in the same answer. You got me? No. Because they're so close. Individual responsible for establishing management of site plan, developing an organizational structure, and allocating resources best describes the safety officer, incident commander, operations chief, decon group supervisor. I see. I see. Here's the one I told you to remember. Blanks are example of a patching system. Epoxies, toggle bolts, wooden plugs, Fleet bandages. Remember, I told you to highlight that? That's the one I'm telling you about. The best way to control a leak from a dome cover on a 306 tank is to apply what? Dome plan. Dome plan. Y'all getting good? Thank you. All right, when you conduct your foam application in order to accomplish vapor suppression, what do you have to be? What do you got to have? Adequate foam, water supply, shoulder runoff, ensure foam uh, that is compatible with the product, or uh, all the above? All the above. All the above, you need it all. A few more. How long do we keep records? Exposure records. 30 years after retirement. There you go. 30 years after retirement. The transport index. I told you this Monday afternoon before I left. Found on labels of undamaged packages containing radioactivity material indicates the A, highest radiation level of the radioactive material, highest radiation level that is found three feet or one meter from the surface of the undamaged package or the highest radiation level that is found six feet, two meters from the surface of the undamaged package. And D, method of transportation that must be used to ship the radioactive material. One meter. One meter, three feet. One meter. You guys remember that? One meter, three feet. There is no assurance that once decontaminate, uh, decontamination of a chemical protected clothing is complete, blank has ceased. Chemical metabolism, can you say it? Abrasion, permeation, or penetration? Chemical metabolism? Permeation. Permeation. Just because you wash the surface don't mean it's already going through the molecular level. It's not going to put a damage on the side. If it gets in there, that's how they test it. That's what they're testing, the permeation part. Because it's not going to show. When it gets in that material, it ain't stopping. You can't stop it. Uh, so does that mean just because you've been through uh, decon don't mean it has to stop. And that's what that little book with each suit, that's what they base it on, the permeation time. Um, all right. The physical process of immediately reducing contaminations of an individual in a potential life-threatening situation without formal establishment of a contamination re reduction area best described. Emergency decon. Emergency decon. There you go. The most critical parameter for selecting appropriate PPE is what? Flexibility. Decontamination ability, available sizes, or chemical resistance. Chemical resistance. Chemical resistance. Materials that spontaneously emit ionizing radiations are called blank materials. Radioactive material. Radioactive material. That's what 
this down. <laughs> Anytime the oxygen concentration in the atmosphere drops below the threshold of blank percent 19. or above 23. blank percent, is your ideal H fraction. What are the two? 19 and a half and 23 and a half. 23 and a half. There's another one. The chemical action involves the movement of the chemical, chemicals on the molecular level through the intact material best defined permeation. 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 We will see that. What type of packaging is designed to transport material with extremely low levels of radioactivity? Carboys. Who's that called, boys? That's me. <laughs> bless, you. bless you. Bless you. Bless you. <laughs> Smoke detectors or other consumer oh, products? Oh, shit, yeah. Damn, we're Top C like packaging? It. I'm just playing. Uh, no, I guess. <laughs> Except the packaging. Except the packaging. Remember? Yeah. That's the low level with your uh, yeah. smoke detectors and everything else. Except the packaging. 166. I'm telling y'all, y'all going to see a few of them packages. Uh, so the radiation. Type A. The ability of a substance to change from a solid to a vapor phase without passing through the liquid phase is known as what? The, um, 196 is in your book. Sublimation. That's every shape. That is specific gravity, vapor density, sublimation. Is on every absorbent, absorbent on every day. The most common method used for decontaminating personnel is brushing or scraping, adsorbent, absorbent, dilution and washing. Dilution and washing. Dilution and washing. So water. It, the time it takes for half of an of the atoms to decay to a more stable form is called what? Half-life. Half-life. Everybody got that? Yeah. This is your question. Glass or plastic bottle that may there be encased in outer packaging yep. used to transport solids or liquids best described carbon. Damage to a tank, cargo tank truck, or railroad tank car, or the ductility part of it, internal pressure, and what else? We'll talk about it a little bit. From the outside, stress, any kind of stress, heat, sliding down the road, wheel burn, you know, things like that, any kind of other stress that's happening to it. Um, Y'all remember when we talked about pipelines, underground pipelines, what are some of the indication, indicators that it's leaking? Yep, that's it. You got it. <laughs> Cylindrical packaging made of metal, plastic, or fiberboard used to transport solids or liquids. What is it? Please say it. Somebody. It's a drum. Drum. That's the definition for a drum. We went over this other day. It's a nice cool. edit. Oh, you're yeah. killing me. You didn't hear it? No. What'd you say? Take your right book. It's a drum. Is that fancy definition? The highest level of protection. From hazardous chemicals is what? Level A. Level A suit. Giving a stainless steel 307 DOT 407 cargo tank truck a small puncture in the tank. Place a leak bandage over the puncture to stop the leak is known as? Patching. Patching. 
Like I said, don't overthink a lot of this stuff. Blank is the flow of active material. The zipper, pin holes, and other material imperfections found on chemical protective clothing. Penetration. Penetration. Maximum airborne concentration to which an average healthy person may be exposed eight hours a day, 40 hours a week. Best defined POV C, IDLH, POV STEL, or TOV TWF. That's that one. That one. Threshold limit value and time weighted average. Okay. Now, what would have been a one bit of sale with 95% of the people who's been affected will, will be fine with no side effects? Peel, P E L, okay? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, don't get them too confused. Who is responsible for shutting down the flow of a product in a pipeline? Operator. Pipeline operator. Thank you. Pipeline <coughs> operator. Uh, one of those are highlights. All of the following are hazardous characteristics of confined space itself. Hazardous atmosphere. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Limited egress. Poor communication. Yes. Or the normal toxicity level. That's it. It's going to be higher if it's anything. Or the um, normal toxicity. Best DB for any kind of thermal hazard. Oh. Structural firebite. Structural strong firebite. Y'all feel smarter now? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hold on, let me find a few that might mess you up. I'll just go back. It's all the same. Blank intermodal, maximum allowable working pressure is 100 psi. MC338, intermodal top five, intermodal top seven, intermodal top one. Top one, remember I told you? One on one, one on two. They only go up to 100, so there's only that top one. You know what remember what I said, I told y'all about today. Um, just please remember that. A cylindrical or box-like cask packaging made of rigid metal that is designed to perform under hypothetical accident conditions. Best describe what type of radiological packaging? A, B, one or two? B. Now, got me. What is C? Airplane. Got me in there. There you go. You can determine the amount of material left in a damaged liquefied container by the weight of the vehicle, the opening of the liquid valve, the opening the vacuum breaker, or a visible frost line. Visible frost line. Frost line. How do we identify what the identification characteristic of a dry bulk container? Mm -hmm. I
creating an open air release, open air release of a flammable substance. The areas of evacuation should start with the establishment of the hot zone. This area should be based on blank of the LEL indicated on a combustible gas indicator. 50%, 25%, 20%, or 10%. 10%. 10%. 10%. Which mode of operation? Operations involve the use of aggressive fleet field control or fire control tactics. Offensive. Best way to control a leak from a dome cover on a MC307407 or a MC312 DOT412 is by wing nuts. There you go, there you go. Wing nuts. <laughs> Going on stuff. Blank is the concentration or amount of a hazard material in which the body is exposed over a period of time. Rate LC50, PEL, see, pales, is in there, or dose. Dose. It's a dose, that's what hurts us. Dose. Couple more, don't leave your hand. Uh, any maintenance to be done on PPE should be done in accordance with which primary source? Federal law, county regulations, or manufacturing recommendations? Manufacturing. Where's the command post located? Which zone? Cold zone. Under the UN labeling system, the substance that spontaneously releases ionized radiation would be labeled 13, 11, 9, or 7. Which class? It's 11. 7 for somebody. 7. 7. seven. Only goes to 9, so bottom 2, 13, 11, seven. If I'm looking at a tank truck and I see the manhole towards the deep back. 312. Four we got red, red, you know, we got the range around it and the manhole's in the back. What am I looking at? 312. 312, 412. What? 312, what 412. 312, 412. 312. Remember? Back, 407 on top. Blank is the release of a result of a broken or damaged valve that may last for several seconds to several minutes, depending on the size of the opening or type of container and the nature of the contents. Flaring, detonation, rapid release, relief, or violent rupture. Rapid relief? It's rapid relief. Go to release. open your book 239. I want to make sure y'all got these. We will see a couple of these. Seen a bunch of them on there. And the cross lines over on 238 at the top and the infrared camera, in the highlighted infrared camera on the bottom. That's another way to tell. 
while we're on this stop, I'm going to look at something real quick. On the, remember we talked about the scoring and all that? Now, chisel-like object does a gouge. Remember them words and know which, which word they go to? And that's, that should help you if you do see any of them. And that cracking, like I said, any kind of pressurized container is a uh, problem. That's their dangerous part. All right, how y'all feel? Do you really? Tired. Hey, old man. Neutralization, overpacking, you better have a day to overpack. <laughs> Flying a dome clown, or using an inflatable airbag. I mean, don't, like I said, the definitions are pretty straightforward. What's the most dangerous radiation? Yeah, one. Okay. Uh, when it starts decaying, we start looking at half life, you already said it. Uh, what's class three? Talk about a 306. What's the PSI on a 306? We went over it the other day. 400. High school. That's right. If I look at an EPA registration number, what numbers am I looking for? If I can give you 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 4, 5, 6, 7, 6, 9, in the middle. 4, four in the middle. Okay. Um, When I start doubling my distance from radiation, what time is the amount of limit in my double? Four, four times. times. Like if I got a reading here, if I double it, four times. I'm listening. That's the dose I'm receiving. Okay? Remember four. Four What does the 312, 412 usually carry? Corrosive. Um, I 
Cryogenics or stored at water lower? Thick form of mixture of two or more solids and liquid liquids that will separate under normal conditions. Slurry. So slurry. There you slurry. go. Yeah. You think concrete. Take the rocks out. Which of the four heat Emergency is life threatening. Each stroke. Here's one I'm gonna get you on. Three types of biological weapons are A, respiratory, continuous, and ingestion. No. no. Pneumonia, botany, and plague. Aerosol spores are contagious. No. Bacterial viral toxins. Because that's the only one that sounds like it makes sense, really. <laughs> there ain't nothing wrong with that. There ain't nothing wrong with that. If it, if it is, pick it. Which event uh, would a incident commander select non intervention? Did you follow uh, a spill involving a 55 gallon drum of caustic soda? Type 7 intermodal container with a leading pressure relief valve? A train derailment without a release? Or a prolonged direct fire impingement on a pressurized vessel? Parentheses impending bloody hazard. That's one answer. That one. So that is the answer. Oblivion. Oblivion. Radio pharmaceuticals are typically shipped in blank packaging, and spent nuclear fuel is typically shipped in blank packaging. Accepted, top A. Type B, type A. Industrial, accepted. Type A, type A. Anybody else? Type A, type A. Type A. Accepted. Your fire smoke detectors and everything else are non label non related Because radiation pharmaceuticals are always, they have, but their half life is like eight hours. This is gone by that afternoon. All right, a couple more. Oh, yeah. I didn't finish the one I wanted to see. The amount of an inhaled substance that results in a death of 50% of the test population best defined. There we go, LC50. You got that? What's LD mean? You gotta ingest it, inject it, you gotta eat it, you gotta get it in. Two categories of railroad tank cars are. That's it. Pressurized and non pressurized. That's it. I just went over. In a rail car, tank car, a blank. Deep deformation caused by a blunt object. Score. 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 What is the lowest temperature in which a something will burn, will ignite but not continue to burn? Flash point. Flash point. What is fire point? Keep burning. What are we basically looking at? It's the temperature on both of them. All right. Priorities. What's number one? We need to, for unknown. What's our monitoring priority? Number one is what? 
radiation, because you can't run a tape to see it. You need to eliminate it right off the bat. Then what? Flammability. That determines on which round wrap on a flame. All right. Then what? What kind of transport system protects them where? Then, that's it. There you go. I give you a number 270 to 1. What am I talking about? 600 to 1. 500 to 1. Expansion ratio. Expansion. Uh, remember that. Do you see them numbers? 271. Anything in the question that reads that? Know that we're talking about expansion ratio. It's all them are different.